Hello guys, I'm Andre, a certified translator and a real estate concierge. I own a company that has been relocating people from Western Europe, from Australia, Canada, US to Belarus over the last three years quite successfully. I major in translation, but I have many other roles. So generally my job sounds like real estate concierge because two main subjects I'm dealing with are immigration and real estate. And this video is about permanent residency. As always, please do not take this video as a legal advice, which is definitely something that comes on a paid basis. And this is just my view over how things work in the field. This is your list of little tips or wrinkles that you may research deeper to understand the subject better. And whichever way you wish to go, whether or not you're relocating to Belarus, please opt for a paid consultancy with one or two independent operators. Could be me, could be someone else. And this will get you a better understanding of how things work, because things are really complicated. Speaking of me and my immigration experience, I would say that I'm an advanced translator operating in this field and if one were to ask me if I'm an expert in immigration, I would say definitely not because that would take a person who claims to be an expert to uh, give you, lay you a ready solution on the table for every case of any family or professional uh, field scenario. For, for uh, to get a solution to your question, to get it work at every existing migration office in Belarus. And I don't think such a person exists. So there may be people who are more or less experienced and effic efficient in dealing with certain offices in certain operations, be that temporary residency or something else. I deal in temporary residency matters as a translator and I also have had several permanent residency cases that I supervised as a translator and well, the subject is quite intriguing. Before we get to actually uh, listing the popular grounds to get permanent residency, there are a few things to consider. Uh, there are at least two major points I would ask you to keep in mind. The law book is rather clearly written in Belarus and there is more than one law book, but uh, the times when one has to look uh, between the lines are actually frequent and again depending on which office you're dealing with one thing that works in this office would not work in that office so it's really kind of funny and lottery like although everything is supposed to be straight and you know well written down the second thing is there is nothing permanent in the world I'm not pointing at the flaws of the Belarusian legislation right now but the major point you have to put before yourself to resolve by yourself is how permanent do you wish to go why do you wish to go permanent why would you need permanent residency before you actually kick start all the application procedures assuming you don't speak the russian language like pretty well your best asset during the application process would be either a capable translator and i mean not just a standard translator from the database but the guy who's dealing in these matters and uh, or a certified lawyer all the lawyers in belarus are certified dealing in this specific professional field and going with one of them definitely not both of them, uh, you would uh, succeed quite easily in 99% cases. Although I know my beginning was sounding like it's all super complicated. And I would say that uh, perfect English command or whatever foreign languages you're dominating or your strong language uh, would be more important than having legal skills, although legal skills are not completely irrelevant in this process. By the way, I've been asking people applying for temporary residency like for the 10th, 15th time, like guys, there's this permanent residency, why don't you go for it? And people would tell me just why. The government websites list the most popular cause as like having free of charge access to healthcare system in Belarus, like the Belarusians do. And if you were to be seriously considering this point, if I were considering this point, I would definitely not consider this at all. But it's up to you and health issues may be different. Just like healthcare efficiency countrywide. From the technical point of view, permanent residency is an ID card like the Belarusians have themselves. Green ones, they were introduced in 2021, replacing passport-like little uh, documents, permanent residencies, and the most frequent grounds for getting one of those are the following. 
applicant has relatives, like close relatives, living in Belarus. This is a realm of all kinds of definitions, and I will not be commenting on this or any other grounds, just for your information and for your future research. Or applicant has some heritage in Belarus, identifying him as a person coming from this country. Applicant has been uninterruptedly living in Belarus over the last seven years. Applicant has invested into Belarusian economy 150,000 euro. And it's not as simple as it sounds, by the way. And applicants are highly skilled professionals required by local businesses. This is one of the cases I've been dealing with, by the way. By far, as a translator, I have uh, been involved in three permanent residency cases. One guy was a student, one guy had children uh, from a Belarusian lady, they were not married, by the way, and one guy was a high-skilled professional, highly skilled professional. And the last guy is actually cancelling his residency two years after he actually had gotten it, so this is, this is complicated, and in a way it's fun. So depending on your ground, you may kickstart a further research, you may have a consultancy, message me if you need one, I'll hook you up with a lawyer and we'll have an online or offline conversation with or without migration officers involved and on official basis, of course, and we will find you the best solution. Again, I'm not selling houses or cars or anything like this, I'm selling solutions, and should you be in need of one, please contact me directly. The contacts are under the video as usual. Donation links are the same place, and we'll be happy to see you in Minsk someday. Cheers!